But I'm telling you, these walls are funny. First you hate them, then you get used to them. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. The clip that was just shown comes from the classic movie Shawshank Redemption. Red talks about how when prisoners get used to being in prison, they become institutionalized, meaning they can't make it on the outside world. The term institutionalized goes hand in hand with the term recidivism. Recidivism is defined as the tendency of a criminal to reoffend. The numbers behind this are pretty incredible. According to the National Institute of Justice, within three years of release, two thirds of prisoners were rearrested, and after five years, that number jumps to three quarters. The point of people going to prison is to get rehabilitated. In theory, prisoners will be made into better people, learn from their mistakes, and be prepared to live on the outside world. However, based off of the numbers, there seems to be cracks in the system that need to be addressed. Orange is the New Black does a great job addressing this social issue through Tasty's story. We learn in season one that Tasty is getting released and we get to see her struggle on the outside world. She has grown accustomed to being behind bars and really struggles adjusting to life on the outside. She has no place to live, no job, and nobody to rely on. The pressures of the outside world become too much and she decides to violate her probation in order to get put back into Litchfield. Based off of the scene from Shawshank and from what we learn about Tasty, the question arises, does prison really reform you and prepare you for life after prison? A study by the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights found that 76% of former inmates said finding work after being released was nearly impossible. Based off of this statistic, it makes sense why recidivism rates are so high. If prisoners can't find jobs, they will be forced to resort to their old ways which originally led them to be incarcerated. Prison should be called what it actually is, a rehabilitation center. Prisoners should learn a skill, be made into better people, and be prepared to live on the outside world. Programs need to be put in place that give recently released prisoners job opportunities that help put them on the right track instead of leaving them to fend for themselves and ultimately resulting in a majority of them being reincarcerated. Everybody makes mistakes and a program such as this will give prisoners a second chance.